Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up the other. But woe the one who is alone and falls and does not have another to help. Again, if two lie together, they will keep warm. But how can you keep warm alone? And although one might prevail against another, two will withstand one. A threefold cord is not quickly broken. I thee wed. I thee wed. And pledge you my love. And pledge you my love. For now and forever. For now and forever. This ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And pledge you my love. And pledge you my love. Now and forever. Now and forever. By the authority vested in me by the state of West Virginia, I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. Jack, you may now kiss your bride. Not now. <laughs> Not till I get out of the picture. Now you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Woo! Not gonna do it. Not gonna cry. <laughs> so now here we are. On behalf of everyone here, especially those in your bridal party hill, and I'm sure most of the other guests, sweet Jesus, what fucking took you so long? <laughs> Gracious God, our hearts are filled with great happiness on this wedding day of Jack and Hilary. They come before you, pledging their lives and their hearts to one another. Grant that they may be ever true and loving together in such a way that brings honour to you. Amen. Christian marriage is not living merely for each other, it is two persons uniting and joining hands to serve God. Seek his kingdom first, his righteousness, and he will add all the other things to you. Do not expect perfection from each other, that sorely belongs to God. You need not minimize each other's weaknesses, but always be swift to praise and magnify each other's points of comeliness and strength, and see each other through kind and patient eyes. 
Do you, Jack, take Hilary to be your lawfully wedded wife, to live together in matrimony, to love her, comfort her, honour and keep her, in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, to have and to hold from this day forward, as long as you both shall live? If this is your purpose in life, say I do. I do. Thank you. Do you, Hilary, take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband, to live together in matrimony, to love him, comfort him, honour and keep him, him, in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, and to have and to hold from this day forward as long as you both shall live? If this is your purpose, say I do. I do. Excellent. By the authority vested in me by the state of West Virginia, I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. Jack, you may now kiss your bride. At first glance, you would think Jack and Hillary are putting the phrase opposites attract to the ultimate test. I don't know if you saw all the details, the beautiful details of the wedding tonight, but I can tell you that Jack, I don't know if Jack, how much 90% was Hillary, maybe 95, <laughs> 99? <laughs> But the more you hang out with them, the more you understand that they're just perfect for each other. We're not in a hurry, fly through all the worry like a kite to the blue sky above. Soaking in the good life, drinking in the daylight, sweeter than the sugar rush. All we need is here, the water's crystal clear. All right, here's the moment we've all been waiting. Make the most noise you can make, Mr. and Mrs. Jack and Hillary Pemble! So here's a few tips, Jack. Try to keep up. One, there are such things as stupid questions. And she hates them, so just stop. Two, she's always right. And if you're questioning that, refer to tip number one, because it's a stupid question. Do not try to beat her in any competition, because she will come at you like a grizzly bear. She's a CPA, and truly the hardest worker boss lady ever. both. I'm ready to update Jack's name in my phone from Jack to bro for show. <laughs> That's what Hillary has my husband in her phone as, so we're going to keep the tradition alive. Um, I'm excited for this next chapter in your lives and where this journey is going to take you. Um, if we can raise a glass to Jack and Hillary.